Good morning. I have a Q and A. I've written down all the questions. First question, a very important one. We have, what are you doing? Um, right now I'm just filming a YouTube video because that's what I'm doing. Fave places to shop, and I reckon my favorite place. I do like the op shops and like Depop secondhand clothing. I love Glassons. I'm a basic NZ girl, so. Cotton On has some nice jeans that are long enough. Recycle Boutique is always a fan favorite. What made you want to be an influencer and why? To be honest, I didn't just wake up one day and was like, damn, I want to do social media. Kind of, I'm pretty sure I started as like a preppy troll account on TikTok. And then I think I reached a thousand followers and I was like, wow, that's a lot of people. So I switched to making outfit videos because I really wanted to be a fashion, like streetwear kind of account. And then I ended up switching to Get Ready With Me's and then Get Ready With Me started to blow up. And I also posted about my car and posted more lifestyle things. And it's just growing from there. Obviously at the moment, I'm still not. And I wouldn't, I don't think I'm an influencer. I don't like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm an influencer, but I do have what I consider a large following. Yeah, I just post random stuff. Challenging thing about becoming a Sparky. My most challenging thing was it's my first full-time job. I'm straight from school, uh, nine till three, Monday to Friday, to seven till five, Monday to Thursday. Fave childhood memory. And honestly, the one that I always think about is we used to live next to a horse paddock. I was a horse girl. Obviously, there was an electric fence on our boundary. My brother and I were playing with tennis rackets and tennis balls or something. We lost one over the fence into the horse paddock. My brother put the tennis racket on the fence, like, look over like this. And obviously, I was much shorter than my brother. So I, I had my hand on his shoulder to prop me up too. And we got a big whack. Because <laughs> it went straight through the racket, through my brother to me and then ground. It was really funny. Um, it shocked me a lot, like it scared me. Are you gonna come to Oz? I wanna come back to the Gold Coast, Brisbane area soon because I have my family there. I'll come to Oz this year. Biggest challenge in life. This one, I don't talk about this often because I don't wanna be a sob story, but I had cancer when I was nine. I had my 10th birthday in, uh, in I can't remember what ward but Starship I had my 10th birthday with a little donut and I didn't even um eat it because I was on chemo and a little bold baby right there I'll go get photos actually mum made a little book um here's me and my pony squirt severe idiopathic aplastic anemia and it was in 2015 some photos look how cute I was long story short lots of bruising um Lots of hospital. 2016, I was in the ICU. I got to drive the little car. I had some atrocious hairstyles because I was gonna lose my hair, so I got the Karen cut. <laughs> uh, yep. Lots of blood. <laughs> and I started to lose my hair. That's me there, losing my hair. That's me there with a chunk of my hair I just pulled out. Mum cut her hair short. My dad went bald. Anyways, um, I was very nervous, if you can't tell, after spending probably like a year in hospital, they finally let me go home. I did not want to go home. I just remember I did not want to go home. <laughs> oh, I met Stan Walker. <laughs> I should put that on that TikTok, that TikTok trend of like meeting whoever and I met Stan Walker. Little family trip to the mount. I did school from home as well. Lombardi's Cafe in Fenilpai and I got to take my nose tube out. I remember this. It felt so weird pulling it out. Anything I want to change about my car? I want to get it lowered. I want to engine swap it so it's quicker. It's too slow. Like, I want to be fast. I want to be zooming in my car. Who do I look up to for inspo? Really just whoever I'm scrolling on TikTok. I'm like, oh, she's cool. She's got a cool thing doing a cool thing. And I'm like, I'll do something maybe similar. My dream career is to be an unemployed rich person, traveling the world, doing all that, doing all that. I got a question, what makeup do I use? I'm gonna pull the influencer 
card and say, I'll film a separate video on it. I got two very similar questions about, I'm gonna see myself in five years. And in five years, I will be possibly owning my own house. I'm qualified. Someone said advice on starting social media. Just start it. Like, there's no time like the present. And everyone says it, but you just can't care what people think. Like, it's up to you if you want to care what people think. Do you want to continue being a sparky? I do. I want to continue until I worked it out. This is my plan, guys. I'm going to continue being on the tools until I am pregnant because <laughs> when I'm pregnant obviously I can't do much sparky work so I'm going to continue until I'm pregnant and then when I'm pregnant I want to move to just stay in the same company but do office work for them or something my high school life let me let me get dressed okay so my high school life was very good I went to like a very 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 small high school I did drop out in year 12 after which getting my level three credits as well um i did drop out in year 12 because i got my job as a sparky apprentice i liked high school until i didn't like a lot of things about it but like i ha i have nice memories i guess i don't know we're gonna go very very comfortable today we're gonna wear this i got from an op shop next question what made you want to be a sparky okay so what made me want to be a sparky was I was good at my science and I was good at my math. So my teacher, who I spent most of my time in his office because I was crying over school, let's work out a plan for you to leave. Like you're not having a good time here. Let's work out how you can leave and not be dead end. Like I didn't want to be stuck dead end in a job. Lastly we have, do I recommend the trades? And I do. My woman, be safe out there because men are scary. But otherwise, I do. That's my Q&A. Thank you guys heaps for watching. Hope you understand me a little more. Um, we're in connection now. I just want to say thank you heaps for watching. I'm going to go eat lunch now. But thank you guys for watching. I love all the support. Um, I have so much fun doing these videos. And doing TikToks and Instagrams and everything. So I just want to thank you heaps. Love you.